I like it. Really? Mm hmm How much? I mean, words just can't begin to. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoon's Delight. Uh, let's get to it, man. Ripley and Hannah, man. They open up the episode hot, as we could pick up from where we left off last week, where they uh, Ripley and Hannah had their first kiss last week. Uh, and it was a very special scene, very special scene last week, and then we opened up here. And it looked like the two were having tea again, you know, because that's actually how the, one of the things that kind of bonded them in the beginning was this whole thing with the tea that Hannah was sharing to Ripley. And uh, I don't know if it was at her house or his house. I guess it doesn't matter. But they were over there, you know, uh, doing that. And uh, it was good to actually see them uh, at the home this time, you know, because remember early in the season when they when Hannah had invited Ripley for tea like the first couple of times and I was always wondering if something had went down between them and, and now we know that they really didn't do anything when he came in the first two times. So um so this is like the first time they were able to have like an intimate moment, you know, alone. You know, not in the public or anything like that. They were able to just have it away from everyone else and have a private moment between themselves and it was lovely to see. And uh, I loved it, man. I loved it. I loved it that they opened up the episode like this. I thought they would hold it to the end of the episode but uh, or towards the end, but it makes sense now knowing the, what happened in the cliffhanger, man. Um, so they didn't waste any time. And uh, Ripley, unfortunately, he had to leave so because uh, he got a phone call. So, um, you know, they had to get into it right there. But I am liking them two together ever since they were together. Uh like I said, I think Med uh, really hit it this season on the couples, man. You know, Goodwin and Dr. Washington. Uh, what was the other one that they had? Uh, Lauren and Maggie uh, like that one. And then the other one was uh, Margo and uh, Dr. Archer. So they really been hitting it on the relationships, man. I like it. I like it. I, I think it's actually been really good. And... Um, you know, but this was the best of the, the best of the bunch. Now, I, like I said, like I was telling y'all last week, there's some haters of H Hannah and Ripley, not of the the specific characters. There's haters when it comes to um, seeing them together because there was some. There was actually, believe it or not, some people who wanted Dr. their Archer and Hannah to get together, man. Which was a, a little surprising, a little bit surprising that they wanted that. You know what I mean? <laughs> there were some people who wanted that. And, um, you know, uh, look, I always like last year when I whenever I was recapping those two, I saw I said maybe they'll put them together, but they never did. I think that was the right decision because here's the thing. And I, and I know some of us have talked about it in the comment section with each other. Sometimes it's just good for. um sometimes it's just good to be friends so you know what i'm saying like i think uh it's sort of like a father-daughter relationship between archer and hannah too man I, I just think sometimes it could just be friends man it doesn't always have to be a relationship just because it's a man and a woman that's really close to each other um i think they did the right thing uh, i'm definitely gonna say they did the right thing here and um and, and, it, and it did those two. Plus, they're around the same age, so it makes a lot more sense. You could grow with these two. Ripley needed it more than Dr. Archer anyways. Him being a new character for viewers to kind of get a little bit more attached to him. But uh, I'm loving it, man. I'm loving the relationship, man. Give me your thoughts on it. I'm glad they got together before the season ended, too, because that was the other thing that I was wondering if they were going to stretch this out into next season. So we actually... We're able to see them before the season ended. So that was pretty good too. But, but give me your thoughts on this. Uh, give this video a like, share, subscribe. And I hope they could be, you know, because we hadn't really seen like a really good, powerful couple on here since probably Nick. I mean, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, probably since then, right? Will and Natalie was probably the last one, right? Will and Natalie was probably... Oh, no, no, no. April and Ethan. April and Ethan was probably the last one. 
So it'll be good to like see them grow together next season, man. Because they both need each other. They both have like tough backgrounds. So it, it's good that they um, kind of found each other in here, man. So I like it, man. But let's go over that cliffhanger, man, with Powell, man. We got to go over that next. Powell and Ripley. Let's go over that because this will be the last video I'll do this season for me. So let's do it, man. Go on ahead and get this video a like and share and subscribe. First of all, y'all get on out here. Thank y'all for watching. After news, the like.